Would you date an assassin? How about someone over 100 years old? Would you date someone with no chin? If you answer no to any of the above, I'm sorry, but that's pretty discriminatory. According to this dude. Wait, I think it's a she. Ugh. Just take a look at my thoughts of this video. Would you date someone who's trans? Uh, I already have. I was probably the only person who dated the cringy Milo Stewart and lived to talk about it. Would you date someone who's black? Yeah, why not? I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Would you date someone who's fat? Oh yeah. Give me Ashley Graham any time. Would you date someone who's disabled? Hell yeah. Imagine dating someone with eight arms. I can find lots of good uses with that. Now, honestly, I don't know what your answer is to those questions, but I've met a surprising number of people who would say no to all or at least some of them. What? What imbecile would say no to all of them? What's their argument there? Their argument is that it's just a preference and that you can't control who you're attracted to. I think most of the time that this is brought up, it's in regards to race. I'll link to a couple really good videos in the description about racial dating preferences, but in this video, I want to talk about our other biases. Let's start with trans people. Would you date a trans person, honestly? Think about it for a second. Uh, no, I am not going to think about it. I already answered that question. I'm still healing from the nightmares and scars from dating Milo Stewart. I said no, I'm sorry, but that's pretty discriminatory. Discriminatory? Are you kidding me? It's not discriminatory if you're not into that person. Dude, or she, or whatever you are, watch my date with Milo Stewart and think about it for a second. A lot of people told me that I'm not asexual enough because I platonically slap people's butts. So I would like to know if I'm not asexual enough, can I at least call myself a Harry Potter whore? Uh, what? Asexual slapping butt Harry Potter who? That's it. I have enough. I'm out of here. Okay. Good. Now we're on the same page. I think you could be attracted to any trans person, whether they pass or not. That's just stupid. If they don't pass, they don't pass. Simple as that. I am not wasting my time trying to make my relationship work with someone that simply didn't pass. I think the main concern that people have in regards to dating a trans person is that they won't have the genitals that they expect. Because we associate penises with men and vaginas with women, some people think they could never date a trans man with a vagina or a trans woman with a penis. But I think that people are more than their genitals. I think that you could feel attraction to someone without knowing what's between their legs. And if you were to say that you're only attracted to people with vaginas or people with penises, it really feels like you're reducing people just to their genitals. Um, you're confusing me. It's called preference. You know, the word you called out earlier. Yeah, why is it so hard to understand? I myself personally prefer vaginas. That's how it is. So I can, you know, place my humongous sword into something other than a scabbard or sheath. It's like saying, gay men must like vaginas, but they don't. That is why they're gay. It's not discriminatory, it's just personal preference. Let me ask you this question. Would you date an assassin who had 99 confirmed kills on Call of Duty? <sighs> yeah, yeah. I am not your preference, eh? I thought so. You know, that's pretty discriminatory. 